Okay. okay. Mark, you're always keen for a bit of jazzercise in the kitchen, <laughs> but it's smoky chicken you've got today. Yeah, that's right. We've got a chicken recipe. We've got smoked paprika. We've got chorizo in there. We've got chickpeas. It's all going to cook together. Heaps of flavour. And then we're going to serve it with some nice minty couscous. It's great. I do feel like we should be making like a beef and Guinness like pie or a, or a stew or something. But there's plenty of uh, stuff going on with Patrick's steak. So we're going to do chicken today. Right, join me a little bit later and I'll have a little leprechaun in the kitchen helping me and uh, we'll go through this recipe. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us on the cafe. We are in the kitchen and Mark, you've got something smoky going on this morning, so I assume paprika. <laughs> yeah, nice. smoked paprika. Yeah, yeah, and we've got chicken, your favourite? Yeah, it is my fave. And we're going to marinate it. Nice, this recipe sounds perfect for me. It's great, one pot wonder as well. Oh, even better. Well, okay. two with couscous. Okay, that's So right. we've got chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, yes. So we're going to use the thigh. So, yeah, I mean, you could do the breast if you want. You could uh, pan fry it, get it nice and crispy if you wanted to serve the skin on, or um, the chicken thigh. But the chicken thigh is really nice because it stays a bit moist. Yeah, nice I like chicken thigh. Good. Some smoked paprika, some Yum. cumin. Some cumin. A uh, little bit of salt and pepper. Yes. And then some olive oil. Okay. And then we'll give that a really good mix around. Nice. And then. You know, if you've got the time, half an hour to an hour in the fridge, yep. you know, get all that flavour in. Put some plastic over it. Yeah, yep. yeah, cling film it, pop nice. it in the fridge. <clears throat> and um, if you haven't, just do this and cook it straight away. There's quite a bit of yes. heat going on in there, isn't there? Oh, what yeah, you've got a little bit of heat, yeah. I mean, you can you can buy milder versions, you know. Okay. You know, it doesn't have to be, like, really hot. <laughs> okay, no, I can deal with it. <laughs> what are we doing with the garlic? Do you want to put that in there? Yeah, 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 we're going to crush that and we're going to chop that up as well. Okay, nice. Right, and then we're just going to warm a pan now. We're going to start cooking the uh, chicken. So we're going to cook the chicken first. Yes. Get it nice and uh, browned all over, and all those flavours are going to start in the pan. And then we're going to slowly uh, add all the rest of the ingredients. Okay, in do you want me to get the chicken going? Yep. Okay, cool. Make sure it's nice and hot. A bit of olive oil. All right, that helps, doesn't it? And then we are going to get some stock on, and this is going to be for our couscous. So just a bit of chicken stock in there. Yep. Bring that to the boil, and then we'll pop our couscous in there. Okay, maybe not hot enough. I didn't hear a sizzle. <laughs> That'll be all right, though. <laughs> Can add so, sound effects in. So <laughs> <laughs> Quick roll that. <laughs> so no, actually, actually, I've got a question. Yeah. Got a question. Should you, you always heat your pan before you put it in? Yes. Yeah, no, but with the chicken thighs, <laughs> yes. do you spread them out or do you keep them folded up? What's the best um, way to do Well, it? yeah, I mean, uh, whatever you want to do. Really. Okay, cool. But, I mean, better to spread them out so you get full contact and they'll okay. get more uh, more colour. Okay. Or you can, I mean, you can leave them whole if you want, mm -hmm. you know, and just, uh, just have them rolled up. Uh, flip them over and then just cook it. It's just going to take a little bit longer to cook because okay. it's double. Well, we're over. doing tally, so I've done that. <laughs> we need speed. Uh, garlic in here as well. Yeah, yeah. Put the garlic in there as nice. well. Nice. Yum. Um, yep. Yeah, so start with a hot pan. Get your oil hot and then put it in so it's nice and sizzly, and that's going to get your uh, get your colour on there. Mm. Right. Banking away nicely. And then we've got some chorizo. So this is already cooked, so you can eat this straight away. We're just going to slice it and then we'll just fry it. We'll take the chicken out once we've got a nice colour yep. and then we'll start frying the chorizo and that's going to give us some nice um, texture onto the sausage as well and it's going to leach out all those flavours and all that sort of paprika in there and it's going to stay in the, the whole dish. It's going to be great. Oh yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Of course, we always put the recipe at the cafe.co.nz. I was going to try that. Is that right, Dave? <laughs> that's counted out for the recipe. Mm. Yum, that is good. Right, so, then, so we're just going to bring the stock um, to the boil and then we're going to put the couscous in, bring it back up to the boil, put a lid on and it's just about five minutes and it's just going to sort of absorb all those flavours and then we'll just flake it up. I'm going to finish it with some mint, some lemon juice. Put any flavours, you can put any flavours you want in here. Okay, cool. You know? So you can do, you know, different takes on it, put some spices in there, put some orange in there, whatever you want, whatever's going to go with the dish. And what are we using today? Uh, chicken. Just chicken stock. Chicken stock, okay. Yeah, nice. but we're going to finish it with some fresh mint. Yeah. Because we've got so much flavour in the chicken and all the juices that's going to be very intense so we just want a really plain fresh couscous with that nice work. and how early do you have to get the couscous going you know because a lot of people let it to sort of soak up all that moisture yeah, you yeah. time it to perfection or does it not matter can you make no, it now and just let it sit on the bench yeah i mean you don't want to let it sit too long right uh, because then obviously it's going to cool down so so sort of time it so when the chicken's nearly ready you know, have your couscous ready and it's just resting it's so soaking up all those flavors you can fluff it and then put it all together okay good work mm. Yum. This is smelling great. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll carry on um, while we check in with Holly. We'll come back very soon. We'll see the next steps to create the smoky chicken dish. Right now, though, Holly is with Jacob.
Hey, so much more to come on the cafes. We'll be talking with Frankie Adams and Tusi Tamasisi to hear all about their incredible new film, 1000 Ropes. This looks incredible. It honestly does. And we'll see how Frankie's dealing with a huge rise to stardom in the States. Right now, though, we need to finish off as Smoky Chicken. So I think the colouring's looking pretty good on this. Yeah, no, I think it's really good. So that's what you're after. Yep. We've turned it over. You get the same colour on the other side. And then we'll just remove the chicken from the pan. OK, I can do that for you. And then we're going to cook the chorizo, aren't we? Yeah, and then we're going to cook the chorizo in there. OK, cool. So same pan, you can nice. see you can see all the oil in there as well. It's starting to change colour with all the spices. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Do you want the garlic left in there? Yeah, the garlic's fine in there. Oh. So chizo che goes in, and then nice. we can pop the chili in as well. So just over a medium heat, starting yep. to get a little bit of colour on that um, on the sausage there. Let that sort of all those juices mm. sort of leach out. Nice work. And then once we've got a bit of colour, we're gonna we're gonna deglaze it with a little bit of balsamic vinegar and tomatoes, so okay. fresh tomatoes. So we just diced them up, just roughly diced. And then as the tomatoes get hot, they're going to just um, leach out all the liquid and nice. deglaze all the pan and get all those flavours together. This is smelling incredible. Right, couscous, so chicken stock uh, come up to the boil. Yep. I'm just going to put some seasoning in now. OK. Just so it goes through, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. Uh, pop some couscous in. Give it a good stir. That'll do. I'm quite fond of my couscous. Do quite a bit of it at home. So, what's what's the what's the best flavour you put with your couscous? Uh, well, actually, I use your I use your lead, and I um, actually started using different stocks. So I've done a beef stock. I've done a chicken stock. Uh, I haven't put mint in it though. Oh well, it's the first time for no, everything. I know. Well, you're stepping it up, which we like. <laughs> All right. So you got it's starting to get its colour on the sausage. The chilli sort of I'm um, just softening down now. We'll pop our tomatoes in. Mm -hmm. This is the deglazing. We yeah. like to call it deglazing. Well, sort of start of the process, yeah. Yep. So you can see the liquid's coming out of the tomatoes. It's getting all those flavours together. A little bit of balsamic vinegar as well. That's just going to give you a bit of acidity and uh, richness. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to pop a little bit more stock in there. OK. OK, we'll bring that all to the boil. We'll yep. turn it down. We'll put the chicken back in the pot and yep. we're going to cook it for about sort of 15 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes with the lid on, nice okay. and slow. Cause, cause, it's come back up to the boil. I'm going to pop a lid on that as well and then just turn it right down so you just want to really, really lightly sort of cook it um, or even turn it off because you've got the lid on and it's going to cook and it's going to soak up all those flavours in there, come nice and, um, well it's going to become, what, a big pile of stodge really. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to use a fork in there, fluff it up and then we're going to put a chopped mint through it. Then the chicken's going to be ready. It's going to be great. It's going to be like a really easy, fast yeah. dish, full of flavour. Yeah, full of flavour. Right. Okay. So turn this down a little yep. bit. Turn it down. Pop the put the chicken back we can in. Put the chicken in. Yep. Lid on. Okay. And then we just let it do its magic. Nice work. When do we put the mint and the couscous? Right at uh, the end. Yeah, at the very end. So get it all. Get it all ready. Just pick it. Chop it. Roughly chop it. Get heaps of mint in there as well, because that's going to give us a nice freshness and almost cooling effect for a. Uh, that excess chilli, what we've got in there, and spice. OK, lid on, let it do its thing. Yep. Nice work. Beautiful. Those That's smells it. coming out of this kitchen are amazing. If you ever make one of these recipes, make sure you let us know. Facebook us, take a photo of it, because Mark likes seeing that. And people <laughs> have done it quite a lot, so thank you Yeah, so it's much good. It's always, it's always interesting to see how, how people get on at home. OK, well, cool. So the mint. Yeah, get so the, the mint. stalks out. Yeah, take the stalks out, just the leaves, and then just go over it with a sharp knife, just roughly chop it. Nice. You know, and just leave it like that. Mm. Nice, fresh flavour. And then chickpeas as well. Are they going in here? Yeah, okay. we're just going to pop them in. So you don't want to put them in too early because you don't want them to all crush down. So you just want to sort of warm up and soften slightly. So just sort of, you know, about five minutes out, we're going to put the chickpeas in. Oh, and that's good. There it is. Nice work. So okay. Easy. To Mark and how's that smoky chicken dish looking? It's smelling good from here. Well, we are ready. The chicken is cooked. The couscous is, um, it's been sitting there. I flaked it up with a fork. The mint's in. A little bit of olive oil just to loosen it. Give it a good stir around. Check your seasoning and then get some on plates. Look at that. It's great. Love couscous. And then we've got the chorizo in here and the chickpeas. That all goes on top. And then we've got the chicken. I'm just going to slice and then pop it on. Yum. So it's a good idea. You can just slice it, and then you can see if the chicken's cooked or not. Nice work, just Mark. Just pop that around. Oh. Are you happy? There you go. Nice. Beautiful. Bring it over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're waiting. I know, because I am starving. <laughs> it smells so good. OK, what is on the menu on Monday? Well, I've got cider roast pork chop and apple and fennel. Yum. Yum.